Hey, this is Alexi from AstroArt. Today's episode, we go through the basics. What equipment do you want to use in astrophotography? You will see the basics of setting up your equipment. I will also give my advices for you to start taking amazing pictures of the night sky. Starting astrophotography might be confusing and difficult when you don't know much about this hobby. My experiences as an astrophotographer has been the opposite. Now astrophotography can be affordable, portable and user-friendly experience. Astrophotography is a journey that helps you with all aspects of your life and gives you a sense of belonging to somewhere. In this video I'm going to walk you through a list of portable, affordable and easy to use astrophotography gear. I am going to show you a final image taken with affordable and beginner friendly gear, so stick around to the end. Let's start with the star tracker, because it's the most important thing in your setup. The one you see here is the Skywatcher Star Adventura GTI. And this allows you to take those long exposures of the night sky without any star trails. It has a go-to feature that not only makes finding targets easier, it makes astrophotography fun. You can control the mount with your phone through Wi-Fi. It will slowly rotate with the Earth to keep your camera pointing at the same star or DSO as they appear to move across the sky. It has a max payload capacity of 5 kilograms or 11 pounds, so you can use a small telescope or DSLR and lens with this mount. Tracking is done with the RA axis. The rotation of the RA axis is the same as the rotation of the Earth. This way the stars stay in the same place on your image so you will get sharp round stars. Equatorial mounts are best for imaging. I personally like the Star Adventura GTI especially when traveling or wanting a lightweight setup that can handle my DSLR or dedicated astronomy camera and telescope. I love the stability and the possibility to control my camera with the mount. But if you have needs for even more lightweight mount, the Star Adventura 2i is GTI's little brother. For bigger telescopes and higher payload system, I like to use my GEM45 mount. It gives me extra stability and can handle a large telescope. Now this is a sturdy mount. It has max payload capacity of 20 kilograms. So here you can see all three mounts. Heavy and lightweight go to mounts and lightweight beginner star tracker. They all serve a purpose and you can pick the one that suits your requirements and needs the best. Here is a tripod for the Star Adventura GTI. This is a sturdy tripod and the mount is very easy to attach to it. It has 3 8 inch thread for mounting and you just screw it in place. If you already have a quality tripod, you can definitely use that, but my recommendation is to use this tripod that is meant for the GTI. This Star Adventura GTI can be bought with tripod or without. Now onto the telescope. William Optics Zenith Star 73 Doublet Apochromatic Refractor A wide field telescope is your best friend when you are entering into the astrophotography world because Finding objects is easier and tracking is much more forgiving. Overall, it is much easier to handle smaller telescope and it also will cost you less. This Zenith Star 73 has focal length of 430 millimeters, so you can perfectly fit 
large nebulae and galaxies into your frame. 73mm aperture does a good job of gathering photons. It is nice and light, not a problem for the GPI. It's great value for a telescope of this size. This telescope is lightweight and compact and it comes with this suitcase, so it is very easy to transport if you are traveling. In terms of cameras, a basic DSLR is all you need when starting out in astrophotography. I started out with Canon EOS 6D Mark II and the camera isn't modified to astrophotography or anything. If you are serious about deep space, chances are that you are going to upgrade on a dedicated astronomy camera in the future. Dedicated astronomy cameras are specifically designed to capture high quality images of space. For example, the ASI 2600MC Pro is an amazing color camera. Modifying your DSLR is not a real option anymore. Dedicated astronomy cameras are in the price point that risking the damage to your DSLR would not be worth it. Note that usually DSLR needs an adapter with M48 or M42 threads to connect into your telescope. If you are using DSLR, an intervalometer is a must, so you can control your exposure times without touching the camera. Just Plan and set your image sequence with this remote and you are set for the night. But what if you could control your image sequence with just your phone or tablet? Or better yet, control your entire astrophotography setup. Meet the ZWO ASI Air Plus. You don't need to take your imaging laptop and all the software installed on it in the dark because you have all the tools needed for a complete night of imaging in the ASI Air Plus. Controlling dedicated astronomy camera, guiding, filter wheel, using Go2 with the ASI Air Plus is just easy and simple. One of the biggest features of the Plus version is better Wi-Fi signal. And that means you can be inside your house if you have your setup in the backyard, for example. The cool thing is that this is very beginner friendly and honestly I couldn't recommend it enough. There is another very important and critical thing. A dew heater. Simple dew heater can prevent your telescope or camera lens from fogging up. Without the heat generated from the dew heater, your telescope or camera lens may fog up as early as 5 minutes into your imaging session. And that is something you don't want to deal with. So remember to use dew heater with your optics. And don't forget your guide scope. For the gear, I'm going to leave a link into the description. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more stuff about astrophotography, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, comment what kind of videos you want to see.